Hello everyone, today I'll be talking about some different starting zone quests that I recommend you to skip on the upcoming fresh Wrath of the Lich King servers. If you do this, then you will also save a lot of time and level a bit faster. And remember, we also get the 50% additional experience, so you can easily skip a quest or two. Anyway, enjoy this video. As a gnome and dwarf, you will be able to pick up this quest at level 3. This quest will tell you to collect three different items in the starting zone. Usually this quest is not going to be difficult to do at all, but when it's going to be a fresh server, there's going to be so many people competing for these items. Here's an example of what will happen. You wait for the item to respawn, but at the same time someone else get here, and this person will most likely loot it before you. Now you will have to wait for another one to respawn, and while you wait someone else will get here. This person might also get the item and then you have to spend another 10 seconds. At some point you will finally get the first item, but then you also have to collect another two. Instead you could easily have completed a few other quests or killed enough monsters and gained way more experience compared to what this quest will grant you. So skip this quest as a gnome or dwarf. As a night elf you can do a few pre-quests and at some point you will also be able to pick up this one. This is another quest where you need to collect different items in the open world. You have to collect a lot of different items and there's also going to be a lot of these in the open world, but the respawn time is awful. I waited more than 30 seconds and the lily didn't respawn. So I had to find another one and I need to collect a total of 4. I also need to gather 7 mushrooms and these is also difficult to get. I know the respawn time might be a bit faster when there's going to be more people, but at the same time there's also going to be a lot more competition. So if you plan to level a bit fast, then I recommend you to also skip this one. As a human, there's also a quest that I recommend you to skip. This quest you can start when you have done a few pre-quests. It might not seem that difficult to collect the 8 harvest, also because there's so many different crates containing the harvest. But when this is going to be the real deal, there's going to be a lot of competition for this. And what you might also notice is all the defiers here. These defiers will also try to protect the harvest, so sometimes you will have to pull them before you can loot the harvest. When you pull this target, someone else might run in, loot the harvest and then run away. If this scenario happens, then you might also end up spending more than 10 minutes doing this quest. Therefore, I recommend you to skip it. I'll show you the horde quest in a moment, but if you're interested in classic leveling tips and tricks, leveling guides or maybe even gold making guides, then I also recommend you to check out this channel after the video. I'll be posting a lot of these videos in the near future, and if you subscribe, you will not miss these. Anyway, on to the horde quest. As an orc and troll, you can pick up a quest where you need to collect 10 cactus apples. I don't recommend you to pick these up and wait for another one to respawn. However, sometimes when you loot one of these, another one might respawn nearby. But this is not always the case. Therefore, I usually do some of the other quests, and in case I find a cactus apple nearby, then I can always try to loot it. But if I don't manage to get all 10 before I leave the starting zone, then I would just abandon this quest. As an orc and troll, there's yet another quest that I also like to skip. Now you'll be told to wake up 5 lazy peons. When you finally manage to find one that is sleeping, then you wake this up, and then you will have to wait a long time before it will go back to sleep, and it won't be easy to find another one nearby. This could cause you to spend a lot of time looking for another peon, and therefore I usually prioritize some of the other quests. As a tauren, there isn't really a quest that I recommend you to skip. The reason for this is because there's not really an object where we have to wait for a long respawn time. All the quests will tell you to either slay something, or slay something and collect something from these monsters. However, as an undead, this isn't really the case. There's a quest where you need to collect different crates, but at this area there isn't really a lot of these crates, and the respawn time isn't fast either. On the beta, I spend around 5 minutes doing this quest, and that's with next to no competition. Alright, so that's about it for this video. If you wish to see more Wrath of the Lich King videos or pre patch videos, then remember to check out the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Peace!